and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lucky Lucian. We're going to be playing a Lucky Find Lucian action deck. Um, should be pretty fun. This is one that could definitely be a meme tier deck, you know, because we're just playing, you know, profit tiers, paydays, you know, like these different Lucky Find cards. Um, but we're going to be playing in ranked today with the ranked resetting tomorrow. I realize I'm actually really close to Masters rank right now. And so we're playing two meme tier decks um, today that uh, we're just going to play them in ranked because, you know, <laughs> nothing to lose uh, with the ranks being reset tomorrow. Anyway, so uh, that's what we're going to do um, today. And so this is, uh, like I said, Lucian action. Um, all the lucky finds, like how they're really good here is that, um, you know, like they're going to be leveling up our action very fast or at least the, the Warlord's Palace and then the Warlord's Horde. Um, you know, those are, you know, action's going to be really important with both of those with all the different targets. Um, you know, each lucky find that you use, uh, you know, does target your own ally and so helps those out. Uh, we're going to be trying to also level up our Lucian so that, that we can have whenever the first time an ally dies rally, but then also the double attack Lucian because our lucky finds can increase the power, uh, you know, to be like five or six or something like that. And then can also give overwhelm. And so we can have double attack overwhelm Lucian. And then we can also rally with golden ages or we can get extra attacks, you know, like with the cataclysm be a removal spell that also attacks, you know, all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of like action sivir, um, using profiteer kind of instead of sivir and then just playing a Lucian as our other champion, but similar deck to sivir action. All right, let's give it a try though. Lucky Lucian's what we're calling it. Like I said, so close to master's rank. We'll see if we uh, get lucky with Lucky Lucian and uh, get even closer. All right, Darkness Control for our first matchup. Playing a whole bunch of two health units against Darkness Control doesn't sound like the best uh, strategy. Hey, Demi G. So kept the Preservarium, but, you know, Mole getting other stuff. Yeah, it's already it's not looking too good for us. Um, kind of need our champions. I've never played against Sivir Action where they don't have their champions. That's for sure. What wondrous discoveries await below. Wow. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Are they even trying to help us? <laughs> and they're like, here, go find a champion. To the world below. We'll stick spell shield. Action! All right, we found a champion. One, two, three. Yes. So I'm kind of expecting them to have vile feast, like how they, you know, they attack their two-two into my three-five-three. Three. So yeah, there's their vile feast. But I'm, you know, we're gonna have to trade vile feast eventually anyway, and so I'm not too mad at that trade. some overwhelm quick attack well it already has quick attack yeah kind of like that here. Would you look at that villains beware no maybe I guess overwhelm goes better with the cataclysm All right, but we got fearsome. Quick pass on their end. They told me to keep this one, but I like you. Definitely scared of many morph, of course. 
but we do have we have the backup action so they mini morph this one we can play a backup action See, I want to buff up this profiteer, so can you know, like I want to get this profiteer like quick attack or something, and attack better. But then again, our action—I don't know—I kind of need to buff all of my things. All right, so you can give the action spell shield. I need to make it bigger than the two three. Am I supposed to attack with everything? I mean, the 5 2 trades with the 2 2 or the 2 3, that's bad. This 5 3 trades with their 3 2, that's also bad. Loof Travelers is a heck of a card. Alright, couple Cataclysms. I should have cataclysmed the Twitsy Catalyzer last round. I should have done that. I was worried about, um, you know, champion, right? Keeping keeping this for champions and stuff. But yeah, you're right. I should have just done that last round. It's not a fake. No, definitely couldn't let it go through. I mean, we got to kill it. That Twisted Catalyzer. Definitely don't want to let it go through. Alright, so there's many more. Oh, that card's annoying. You know how it is. That card's annoying. That's a deal one. So five, four, three, two, one. Oh sure, take your time. I love to be kept waiting. Oh, the hapless aristocrats in the line. Alright, so we have our two draws, so hopefully we draw, like, something we could target, like, burst speed, we're gonna level up the action, or, like, you know, get this thing, cool. Get that thing going. Okay, so they just take five. So the reason why I wanted to do that even more than saving the mini minity is I want to do that because now the action strikes makes Anything another one of these warlords hordes. Elements, that was the big deal with, with doing that right then. Demi G with the donation deck. Thank you, thank you, Demi G. I appreciate you. This thing does four. We won't necessarily kill action. I have this. So now they just lose the game. Life is cyclical. Darkness and so I wanted to, you know, like bait them into spending their three mana on that. Like unless they have like zero mana cards I don't know about. We win the game by with that happening. 
Alright. GG. So Lucky Lucian 1-0. One, one step closer to a world without villains. Okay, yeah, burn usually means like dealing like spells that do direct damage, like Mystic Shot. Mystic Shot's a burn spell. Uh it does two damage, two direct damage, and it can go direct damage anywhere. Like that's that's usually that's what burn means. All right, set them all back. Look for the champs. Um. I'll shoot the wings off of okay, game plank set twenty. Yeah. I do not break rules. I bend them slightly. All right. So you want to see Kenan Ezreal tomorrow? In and out. Like I think this is safe. Okay, cool. It's like I don't think we have to bright steel protector, but yeah, this is the thing I'm worried about. It was exactly that. So do I need to like? Hmm. I guess I just need to pass. It's basically because, like, that plus make it rain. Wow, they could have parlayed me, but they didn't. Yeah, they're they're scared that I'd have a pump spell, so then that wouldn't do the damage they needed. Now we do have the pump spell for that. And of course, they're because they're trying to level up their gangplank at Sejuani. I'm trying to keep them from leveling up their gangplank at Sejuani. It's not a good bright steel protector, but it does level up action. It's probably worth it. Make sure action levels up. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in any kind of combinations tomorrow. Any any combinations y'all want me to build with the new cards? All right, we already have a bruiser. Let's get another cataclysm. So, Rumble Azir. Oh, wow. They didn't have anything to play last round? Honor guide me. Wow. I never... Okay, so we know it's not going to be Gangplank this round. Cool, I bet. You like it? I mean, shut up and fight! So if I play the Vagabond, now we have two of these things counting down. Carved from the savage cold. My shield is yours. Born for conquest. All right, maybe we maybe we don't need two of them counting down. The desert's prices, just the right price. All right, that's got to be the three man deal five, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm hoping to get. I don't know. Plus one, plus one. Let's see, quick attack, challenger, plus one, plus one. All right, so I could plus one, plus one it, and then it's a six three. And so I could then kill, you know, trade cat, you know, cataclysm and kill Sejuani. It's a lot of cards, but that's probably worth it because of how good Sejuani is. Look at that quality. My treasure. If I play action, what's the worst they can do for me is like they play 
Yeah, if I play action, we get to level this up. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. The worst is they play Sejuani, another Sejuani, of course. Alright, draw two, they cost less. Yeah. This, the plus two, plus two spell shields, really. Interesting. Rex goes bag loot. Blah, blah. She gets it. Well, aren't we an odd couple? Came a long way from both. All right, so the good thing there, I know I could have sharp sight, but I wanted to wait till after the, you know, we got to strike with the action to put another Warlord Tord into play, and now that we, okay, now that we did that, we got to do that, now we have the fight spell also, we were looking great there. Good job, action. Closer to a world without villains. Okay, Ezreal Vi, we're at 2-0. No action, but we do have a Vagabond. Uh, the weird thing here is I'm actually going to send Fleet Feather Tracker back. Usually, you know, you'd think, okay, we we'll definitely keep Fleet Feather Tracker. Look at that curve and everything. Usually we would keep it, but I think this kind of matchup, we don't really need the one cost. Like the, the, the two mana challenger, I guess. That's the way to say it. We don't really need the, the two power. There we go. Two power challenger. I guess we could have challenged that thing. I didn't want to play my Lucian into Mystic Shot, but yeah, that's the thing is they're they're gonna be they're gonna have a lot of removal, and that's gonna be what the troublesome is, uh, troublesome thing for us is is all the removal they'll have. Oh man, I really want to play Vagabond, but then we play Vagabond and out then I can't protect Lucian from Mystic Shot or Thermogenic Beam. Ugh. I guess we have to play Bright Steel Protector. I've got your back. I'd much rather get the Warlord's Palace started. Greed will turn any man into a monster. Yeah, thanks for donating there, Demi G. So we're real close to hitting our goal before the new expansion comes out tomorrow Your with all the new cosmetics. Speed. It's kind of the thing these days is like every card, uh, you know, like all their cards in their deck just replace themselves. So I kind of need to just concerted strike. I guess we'll try. Man, that Death Ray is so good here because, oh, they don't have Mystic Shot. So it's like, now they can still Mystic Shot. Like, if they have Mystic Shot right there, we are just really dead. Great draw. One mana pump. One mana protection. Should probably be last. So, it's, which one's better, tough or spell shield? Kind of think tough. Yeah, 
shut up when I can't. My shield is yours. One shot, all skill. So if I target the 3-2, they Mystic Shot it in response. Actually, they still may just Mystic Shot it in response. Or, you know, they still may. They have to kill the 3-2, otherwise they die. And they kill the 3-2, then Lucian turns then Lucian levels up and turns into 5 power. Double attack. I guess it's gonna turn into 5 power double attack either way. Yeah, like they're just dead. I guess, because, like, once they kill the 3-2, then, like, it not only levels up, but we get the attack token again. And, yeah, they did. Alright, we got Lurkers. Lurkers always difficult. Action. Alright, no action. Man, I should maybe keep this Concerted Strike, but... I want to have all the units possible. Our hand's very good. That's a good block by them. That's a smart block. I really didn't want them to make that block. But I didn't want to not attack and be obvious that I didn't want them to make that block. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. See what I've learned? Making that trade, so that's one for Lucian. But this has worked out really well for them so far. They got two lurks, first three rounds. Uh, that thing. Greed will turn any man into a monster. This has worked out really well for them. Alright, so I really gotta hope they don't have Pike. Ooh. I get the guards, Bob gets the goods. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Bring in the heat. Really hope they don't have Pike. We know, cool. We know that third card's Rek'Sai, but like if they have if they have the Death from Below, right? Like Death from Below, like that four mass spell would have been really rough. Overwhelm, tough, quick attack. No, I want. I mean, I guess the Overwhelm's really good if we if we can level this up. But I really wanted Spell Shield. I don't know. Like I said, Overwhelm could be really really good. It's already at three out of four. Really want spell shield. Mm. 
That could be, that could be like Pike that they just drew, maybe. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like it is. All right, if I have Bruiser just block, then Lucian levels up. I think I just want to do this. Spell shield? Spell shield! Oh no! Oh, I didn't consider that. Oh, I wasted that concerted strike. Oh, man. That's awful. So I did that first so we could play action and have action level up immediately. Otherwise I like play action and then they uh, death from below and then life's a little rough. Uh, life's still kind of a little rough with the death from below. Yeah, I know. 5-2 ephemeral attack. They block like the 5-5 five five and they take 8 and then it's like I have to act first with Shapestone and then they get to death from below. Because really, we can just assume that that's death from below, like how they're passing like this. Like, it it has to be how they put that back on top. Because they didn't put Rek'Sai back on top. They could have put Rek'Sai back on top, and they didn't. They put a different card. It has to be Pike. Therefore, it has to be death from below. I mean, just sand, sandstone's just not lethal though, so it's not like like risk it for sandstone. It's like what what does sandstone do? Like sandstone does five damage, yes, but it's we know they have death from below in hand. Uh, how much damage is this dealing? It's dealing seven. If I make it six tough, it still dies. I couldn't find a pump spell. You like it? I mean, shut up and fight! So by waiting around on the Concerted Strike, we uh, got another target, and it also just kind of made, made sure that that worked out just in case. That looks like we're pretty dead. We're going to have to get real lucky here. Man, Death From Below is messed up. And it was just one too, too many damage that we had Shapestone and not something better. You know, like if we have Sharp Sight, we win. Shapestone. Just one too many, one too many points of damage. Man. because I played so bad with the spell shield earlier, right? And then I, it's it's all my first concerted strike lost me that game of, you know, like, then they killed my Lucian. That, that play lost me that game. Alright, Gangplank Sejuani. Pretty 
Preservarium. So we got tracker, pro tracker into protector, one and two. I guess we'll send Preservarium back, but that could be like a pretty decent play later. Okay, well, we get it right back. But of course, we'd rather find our champions, right? We want a mulligan pretty hard looking for the champions. Hmm. Alright, so because of parlay, we can't go Flea Feather Tracker on one because of parlay. Like, if, if they play a unit, we play Tracker. But since they passed with the one mana, and especially after thinking about it and then passing, they were definitely thinking parlay. Man, that hurts. Wow. Okay, so looking really bad already. Yep, they had the parlay. So at least I didn't walk into that. hand was great. perfect. Alright, so a 3-2 record in ranked. Not bad at all, especially because I think that Lurker's matchup was definitely winnable. I really threw it away with my Concerted Strike play, that first Concerted Strike. Um, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty, right? Like, I just didn't... You know, I, I miss things sometimes, and I didn't think about the... You know, I, yeah, I just didn't think about, like, the... Alright, they still have the attack token, and then they have the vulnerable Lurker, and then the vulnerable Lurker challenged the Lucian, right? Um, you know, just worried about death from below at the time, thinking that we had the Lucian kind of safe with the spell shield, but that was that was definitely my fault. You know, the last game, obviously, our opponent just had a hand that we have no shot in. <laughs> they they had a perfect hand the last game, but no big deal losing that, right? Like we beat Gang Gangplank Sejuani earlier, one of our three wins, right? And so sometimes your opponents have great hands like that, no big deal. But it's that lurker one, that's the one that I regret, right? Like that one could have been a win, and that could have been a four and one if I would have won that one. But we learn from those kind of mistakes and, uh, you know, try not to make them again. And that's that's why I like posting losses as well as wins for y'all on YouTube. Uh, so you can, you know, see those mistakes and, and learn from them as well. Um, you know, if you want to pick up this deck yourself, if you're looking for a cool Lucky Find deck uh, or another uh, Lucian deck, you know, not very many Lucian decks around. I was, I was pretty impressed with Lucian. Lucian looked... Uh, better than expected in these games. Um, but you gotta remember that vulnerable lurkers are a thing, and uh, that's another way to kill your Lucians. So, uh, best not to just throw away a concerted strike. And then, especially, you know, after that, right? Like, we get rid of the pike, but then we die to the Rek'Sai, and it would have been great to have that concerted strike there, too. All right, but that's going to be it, though, for Lucky Lucian. Good deck could have been 4-1 and one with better play, but we'll still always take a 3-2 in ranked. Uh, anyway, so good deck here. All right, so thanks so much for watching some Lucky Lucian, and I'll see you for the next video.